Welcome back to Shantae. <laughs> uh, actually, I had a better one. Oh. So, yeah, you shut your whore mouth. Oh, that reminds me of something I'll mention later. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back to Get Rich Quick. Look at my <laughs> fucking money. Watch this shit. Go to this room. The one that's got all the purple blocks here. Boom, boom. Do do do. Do 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 do. Dollar, dollar, bill. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck in here. You want to get money? This is money. Anyway, that's basically the end of the game right there. That's after. You can buy anything with that. And, and that only took like 15 here. minutes. It like less. this is, this is essentially between us rendering a video for this, and this took like 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, no, less. That took like five minutes for me to get us to max money. Okay, it fair was enough. Pretty ridiculous. Now I just have to find my way out of here. Can you talk to the guys, the big armored guys? Maybe. Oh, no, just... oh maybe I should save. Yeah. I haven't saved at all. And if this episode screws up, then all we lose is what me getting a couple, do a couple dollar bucks. dollar bills. Yeah. Yeah. So. To be fair, I'm kind of glad we switched to paper money because carrying all that in your pockets would not be pleasant. Oh, and let's see if I can. Well, yeah, yeah okay. no, you can talk to them, but they don't say much. Yeah. <laughs> don't say much, don't do much, they aren't much. Uh, God damn it. So anyway, like I was saying, something that uh, I noticed when I uh, did that uh, zoop thing on your mouth a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. um, the texture on Bonnet's zipper in 6th gen is beautiful. Really? Oh, don't forget the... Um... Oh, right, the cackle bat. Yes. Almost did forget. God, this is the lamest cackle bat. The easiest one to catch, really. Yeah. It's in a cage. It's like, it's only there to taunt you while you have no items. Yeah, pretty much. And then for you to completely forget about it once you get them back and never want to come in here again. With your man. <laughs> yeah, unless you want to get friggin' loaded. Yeah. Like, yeah, before I give the gold pickaxe to those friggin' losers out there, I'm going back to the shop. Hmm. At least this doesn't cost money. Yeah. Talk faster. Giant hammer. Yeah. Smash. I mean, I know I'm not doing a speed run here, but just because of the nature of the game, it means to be speed runned. Yeah, no, it was designed to be speed yeah. run or sped run or sped I, ran. I don't know what the actual word there is. So. I would assume sped ran. That sounds awful. That sounds that sounds like a friggin' sped Star Wars run. sped run, right? Okay. Both of those just sound like like friggin' Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Star Wars deep lore creatures. Fair enough. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, just uh, for shits and giggles, I want some of these. Do -do -do. To be fair, I don't think anything else here is particularly useful yet. So let's just save these 300. Hmm, those 300 Spartans. It... I make references. I know. You know this. I know you speak references like I speak Pokemon. Now you know how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> At least my Pokemon references are. Oh god, I, will, I feel so strong. The game's practically over now. As you spade through men just uh, filled with napalm. Fuck. Yeah. Man, uh, those totally aren't men. Okay, soldiers filled with napalm. Yeah. Oh god, I feel so yeah, good. Yeah, all upgrades in this game essentially max out uh, level 3 at 300, yeah? Um. Most of them, yeah, I think. I mean, like, and then there's the friggin' backdash, which is, as far as I know, completely useless. And it, I find it's more of a momentary thing. Yeah, it's like, well, I figure if I'm gonna backdash, I might as well just hop away. Or attack with my friggin' god mode hair. Yeah, I, I'm of the mind, though, where if you can backdash, it saves, like, it... I, Maybe I can test this on my own. I think backdashing takes less time than jumping out of the way, plus... Oh, I'm sure it does, but backdashing definitely doesn't uh, take less time than fucking mashing the attack button. No, no, that's true, but I think you can cut your backdash halfway through to attack, so you're only dodging slightly out of their frames. 
Yeah. I, Again, I, don't know. I, I could be completely like, wrong. Offense really is the best defense in this game. Yeah, it really can be, also. Yeah. You gonna let me play? Yeah, it's gonna, okay, that go. seemed a little longer than it should have been. Yeah. Maybe it's because I skipped through all the dialogue. Oh, Man. God. They don't, mean No, wait, wait, back now. and jump down there. Thanks. I... Weird. I think there's money in here or something. Oh, huh, okay. Yeah, cause you need the sword for that. Exactly. Wreck your shit. As you get yourself wrecked. I only took a bit of damage. And I just, cause I, yeah, no, that one you die from. There's yep. one that you don't. I know. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. Like the one time the pistol's useful. <laughs> uh, it's useful a few times. Well, useful for something other than puzzles. Yeah. Oh, God, it feels so good. Man, if friggin' Simon Belmont had that shit, yeah. that would not be fair. This is like some Mario what, Mario 2 bullshit right here. Um, yeah, I'd say so. But, uh, yeah, it's really obvious, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was not fooled for a second by that. Well, sign. after the second game onwards, they, they mark death pits by the floating skulls out of the pit. So yeah. when you don't see that... Well, that was kind of one of the big problems with the first game. Yeah, it really was. One of the many big problems with the first game. <laughs> the the biggest one being that it was a Game Boy Color game released after the Game Boy Advance was. Yeah. Well, there was a lot of uh, games. Friggin' Pokemon Crystal was released after the Game Boy Advance. Was it? Yeah. It didn't have any special Game Boy Advance bullshit in it, but... Oh, yeah, and so was... Um... The, 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 the Ages and Seasons yep. games. Yep, it did. It, it did have friggin', uh... Yeah, the, um, the Advanced Shop. Exactly. Mind you, but did what? that ring really do anything in that game? What? No. The Advanced Ring? No, not at all. Neither of them did. Hmm. Oh, the Lost Catacombs. Well, I found This them. one's a rather fun, uh, fun dungeon. The fungeon. How did I know you were gonna say that? Well, because you said fun dungeon. But like, <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? You hit a, hit guy, a guy with, with glasses. glasses. That's so very well played. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I adore that movie. I can't wait for the second one. Oh, they're actually making a second one. It has or? been confirmed by the voice actor for Ralph himself. Yeah, cool. Oh god, I'm just fun on it right now. Fun fact, actually, I learned recently. The voice of Yon, uh, the actor who plays Yondu in Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. That's the voice of Wreck-It Ralph. What? No. Yeah. No. Wrong. No, Wrong. sorry, sorry, he's he a character was... from um, Walking Dead. Yeah, no, yeah. The, the voice of Wreck-It Ralph is uh, friggin' John C. Riley. He was the uh, Novacore guy. Yes, yes, that's who I was thinking. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I only learned this the last time I was at my sister's that, um, like, the different ones. Mm -hmm. John C. Riley, was he Saul? Uh, I don't remember his name. In that. No, no. No, no, sorry. He was uh, the one uh, uh, He was the one that got the dick message. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. No, but uh, it was funny that uh, Yondu, the guy that played Yondu, was fucking, I think. Uh, he, he played the brother character to uh, to uh, Daryl Dixon. Or, oh. sorry, uh, Norman Reedus in, in the game. I don't know the names of the characters other than the main character because, you know, that's the one that's most known. Yeah, I don't even entirely know what you're talking about. Walking Dead? Yeah. Yeah, okay. no. Okay. Basically, yeah, the actor that uh, played Yondu played uh, the brother character to uh, Norman Reedus' character in the show. Okay, I don't know who Norman Reedus is, and who's Yondu again? Yondu's the blue alien. Blue alien, um... The one that uh, picks up uh, Peter at the beginning? Oh, yeah. right, okay, yeah, totally forgot. Yeah. Yeah, because they don't really give him a lot of screen time. Yeah. They, they give him a fair bit. They give him enough, but... He, he, he was really cool when he was there. Mm -hmm. He was pretty great. I like yeah. him. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, moogly, also it's... Moogly, moogly, moogly. Yeah, also it's been a little while since I uh, saw that movie, so... Fair enough. Yeah. And I have a really bad mind for names. Yeah. I, I don't know the name of the actor that plays Yondu, so that's why I'm just saying the actor that plays Yondu. Yeah. And, again, I'm not a big Walking Dead fan, so... 
I didn't know. My sister was happy to tell me, and, you know, she was also happy to see my girlfriend's reaction to that, but they're also Walking Dead fans, so... Yeah. Well, there are the people who would care most. Yeah, well, my sister's a fan of the series, and the characters and the actors. My girlfriend's just a fan of the series, because she understands that actors can be assholes. Yeah. And I, you know, actually like that. Yeah, well, you know, if they do good work, that's uh, kind of what's important. No, no, it's just, it's nice, it's refreshing to know someone who actually understands. Oh, God, fucking slicers! Yeah. They're, they're just friggin'. Just friggin' man, 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 mantises. <laughs> Mantis myth. No, um, they're very reminiscent of a Sonic 2 enemy by the name of Slicers. Okay, I don't know the name of any Sonic 2 enemy. They're the, it's the only one I know because it's the most infamous. Okay. Uh, Basically, I... you get up at the top of a jump, it'll launch its scythes at you, knocking you down, and you lose all your rings. Alright. They're the dick enemies, because we all learn different things, because we're into different things. Yeah. Yeah. Do... Oh, hey there. Yeah, see? It's, it's fucking slicers. Ugh, fuck. I kinda like them, but maybe that's just because I like mantises. Mantises are really neat. I won't deny that. Yeah, I think I, I, like, it's like they expect you to jump on that, uh, bitch. I have a hat. Exactly. <laughs> the hat that's like oh, and drop. Okay. Do you I have a key for this? Don't have the key. Of course not. Of course not. What? Oh, right. <laughs> Got everything's full of napalm in this game. I know. It's like, why does everything just like blow up? God, it's like playing friggin' Ultimate Ninja. A little bit, yeah. Ow. Ow. Wow, those... Yeah, well, that did not... I guess they want you to jump quick. Yeah. So... Oh, I think I was supposed to go the other way first. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Well, I'm looking at the map on the bottom screen right now, so... Yeah. Weep. This will probably be a mini boss. Should probably heal, or oh, or or not. Oh, okay. It's just a puzzle to get to use the sword. Ah, oh, risky scimitar. Why did I have to freaking like shoot to pick that up? I don't know. I thought it was just freaking uh, timing. And now we've gained the ability to pogo stick. Yeah, not not as good as Shogun. No, no, or Scrooge McDuck for that matter. Yeah, because. At least Scrooge doesn't need an enemy to continuously pogo stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that that's pretty sweet about Scrooge. Oh, right, going this way. Uh, yeah, other than he's a Scrooge. <laughs> All right, now I can just pogo onto these. Yeah, whoops. Just, oh, yeah. Yep, just balls that all up. Yes, yes, you did. And now we have the means of attacking below us. Mm hmm. Very useful. Very. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah. Oh, oh god damn motherfucker. it. I'll just weed them out like this. <laughs> Screw nice. those. Yeah. I'm uh... Screw the rules because of video games. Yeah. Sorry, I... screw physics because of video games. Yeah. I'm... Fuck! fuck! All of my fuck! <laughs> oh my... The, spi the pike ball activates those? Yep. Every time you play this game, there's something new to learn. <laughs> yeah, I, I also didn't use the pike balls very much, so... Yeah. I was conditioned from the second game to uh, use yeah, the Yeah, I balls. mainly stuck to the flamethrower in the second game. Because that was yeah. freaking handy. Yeah, I honestly, like, nothing beat the friggin' triple pike ball for me. Yeah, no, a triple pike ball would be really fucking useful. It it was. <laughs> it's not that it would be. It's that it was. It was the best. And anyone who says otherwise is a communist. <laughs> really? Yes. You, you go straight for the communist joke. Yes. So I've been thinking about communists today. Uh, In a purely uh, purely uh, scientific manner, of course. Yeah. Reminds me of a flash video. I um. I grew up on, well, kind of, I was introduced to it through Mac. Um, 
It was called Van Helsing. It was one of um, Rubber Ninja's earliest uh, animations. Mm -hmm. And for those that don't know, Rubber Ninja is also Ross from Game Grumps. I'm pretty sure most people know him. Some through... people may not. No, more people like of a younger generation, particularly, know him through Game Grumps rather than as Rubber Ninja. Yeah, well, that's what I, I only learned like shortly after they started with the Game Grumps. Oh, don't forget the Heart Squid at the top. Heart Squid at the top. Yeah, by the entrance. Oh yeah, well, I'll be back there soon anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, um, he actually uh, made an interesting, um, there was a funny um, Van Helsing spoof called Van Helsing, and I kind of wish he'd bring it back, but uh, actually, I actually remember he made mention in one of the, uh, one of the episodes he did with Aaron that he was, he wasn't really fond of it, and, you know, because it was one of his earliest works, and it's like, yeah, I can kind of understand how an artist would think, you know, their early works are not the best. Oh, but, always. like, I don't know, I thoroughly enjoyed that one, and it was really funny, but at one point it's just like, Ah, uh, it's just the Frankenstein monster! Cricket, 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 cricket. Ah, uh, it is a communist! And they all start chasing him. <laughs> uh, he was still really funny back then. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, scorpion Whoa. women. That I swear are not wearing bras. Yeah, it's probably just part of their skin. Yeah, I think it's just the, the skin. A convenient uh, extension to their carapace. Who's next? Oh, that's it. <laughs> well, that's slightly disappointing. Yeah, you you, lo you sound disappointed from that. Well, I wanted to have a chance to friggin' spam my pike ball. Yeah, I, I, I gathered that much. Also, oh, just me, or are you moving faster? It's just you. No, I get the feeling you're moving faster. No, it's just you. Hmm. It's just because I'm just so kick-ass. Oh, look, the boss. Yummy. Nom nom nom. Closed. <laughs> Squid Baron. You better believe I am. Wish I could heal during freaking cutscenes. I mean, it's right there on the bottom screen. Why? Okay. What about the vacation? Ah, oh, God, that face. <laughs> you almost look like a ghost like that. Well, it looks like a freaking shiny red ghastly. A little bit. Frolicking beach bunnies. Answer me this. How much map have you traveled? Yeah, uh, here we go with the fourth wall. <laughs> How full are your pockets? About half, right? Halfway full? Well, actually, kind of 100% full. But yeah. Let's, uh, let's fill not, boss. uh, freaking... It's my... <laughs> I love that, just filler boss. Like, him breaking the fourth wall scares her. <laughs> Best filler boss of all. Old hat, recycled moves, all of it. I fucking love this guy. Yeah, but, like, you're friggin'... Recurring rascal slash concerned parent. <laughs> yeah, your friggin' first battle with him is pretty pitiful, though. Like... I say that, and then I just start getting my yeah. ass kicked, but... Yeah... Yeah... There we go. <laughs> Looks like he's about to cry. He probably is. Squid Baron 2.0. I love this. The freaking yeah, sparklers. I, now he becomes a freaking boss. Barely. Alright, he's still freaking damages by contact. Yeah. That was a pain. Uh, Ow. Well, Son of. You might want to heal. Yeah, we're Oh, dear on. lord. Oh, god. Yeah, I just feel like this whole battle's just on friggin' fast forward. Yeah, no friggin' chance. Oh, wow, I just cleared right through him. Yeah, I'll say. Kind of suicidally, but... Uh. A little bit, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he almost died. Yeah, maybe I'm a little... Well, I've got another potion. Yeah, maybe I'm a little aggressive today, I don't know. A little? Yeah. It's only a little. Mm. Ah! Did I really hit you that hard? No, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you are amazing. He looks adorable when he makes that face. Yeah. Oh, God, they're going to bring him back. Let me paint myself blue and play the the ice spirit. I could shadow clone myself. 
End of a boss rush. Maybe show up as a common thug later, you know, to make you really feel powerful. Okay, well, that would, that would feel kind of disappointing, honestly. Yeah. Oh, God. Hitting you helped? Purple hair warrior maiden, you are my one true inspiration. <laughs> I love how him and the ammo baron are, like, the only yeah. recurring barons from the second game. Well, who the hell... What, who was the other baron? Some dumbass? No, I don't entirely... The, the other Baron was, like, the earlier one. Squid Baron was... No, Squid Baron was the first one yeah, you encountered. Squid Baron was the first one. Yeah. And then... I Ammo Baron was the second. Yeah. And you had to deal with the third. Oh, did I forget the... Yeah, the Heart Squid, I know. I just wanted to shoot that stupid rat. Want money for some reason. Money for nothing? And your chicks for free? What? Uh, quoting a song by, um. Dire Straits. Okay. Oil Man. Oil Man? Yeah, they. Yeah, the, the, these guys. They do just, got that Mr. Popo esque face. Yeah, to them. They, they just remind me of the, uh, the enemies in Oil Man stage in Mega Man 6. Was he in Mega Man 6? I thought he was in Mega Man Powered Up. Or, oh, maybe not. No, no, wait, no, not Oil Man. Uh, friggin, uh, but uh, it will be totally understandable that I got them confused. Friggin, uh, what was his name? Uh, oh, wait, it? there's something back there. Oh, right, yeah, there was. Um, friggin, it wasn't, was it, was it Flame Man? I think so? Yeah, yeah, the guy with the turban. Because he, because that was the multinational one, and he was the, uh, friggin, uh, yeah, I think it was one. Man. He, he was the uh, the uh, Middle Eastern uh, representative, and his uh, stage was full of friggin' oil. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because you know Middle East oil, obviously. And there'd be these, there'd be the oil pits, and then it'd shoot fire down to the oil pits if you didn't kill them fast enough and set them on fire. So it'd make the level even harder. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, I haven't played yeah. much of that game, so. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of my favorites. So. If not, if not my favorite Mega Man Classic uh, game. Like, a lot of people didn't like it, because by then, like, there had been, like, six practically identical games. Mm -hmm. But since it was only, like, the third one I played, I still really liked it. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm probably going to head back to town and spend some money, find some secrets. So after I find out what's in here... All those secrety secrets. Yes. Do... -do. Whoops! Way to fall. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just pause here then.